Days over fidget spinners may be taking a dangerous new turn tonight. There are reports a couple of them have caught fire, including one right here in Michigan. Tonight, a woman from Fenton has a warning for you. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live with what happened here. Aaron, now another warning, huh? Yeah, there's been two so far, Carolyn, and you know, obviously everybody knows about these toys. You'd have to be hiding underneath a rock if you didn't. These fidget spinners, they are so popular. If you've seen any kids or been around kids in the last few months, you know about this popular toy. But like you said, right now there are major concerns that the new ones could start a fire. It hooks up to your phone, your Bluetooth, so you can play your music, and it, you can still spin it. It lights up and plays your music all at the same time. It's the newest craze sweeping across the country. You've seen kids of all ages twirling around these little toys in their fingers. But now there's new concern about the dangers surrounding fidget spinners. In one case in Fenton, a mother found the toy on fire. And it's the same cord I use for my baby monitor. And I just simply had it plugged in like this. And it was laying right here on fire. The latest models have LED lights and Bluetooth technology, which means batteries and a charger. Michelle Carr Fenton says hers caught fire after less than 30 minutes of charging. She claims it didn't come with directions and now is urging others to beware. Personally, I probably won't buy another one because of the fear of it. But if I know there's tons of kids in here that want to go get them now. And if you plug it in, just stay by and make sure it's charged and it doesn't catch. So this mother says this case actually happened in May, but another case in Alabama happened earlier this week. The exact same thing. That fidget spinner caught fire after charging for less than 40 minutes. So, of course, the moral to the story, if you're going to buy the new ones, be extra careful. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Aaron Baskerville reporting live tonight. Thanks, Aaron, for the warning.